Hi there. So this video is the Bill Adam trumpet warm-up routine, kind of simplified and um, aimed really at primary school kids. Okay, it's more or less limited to the notes inside the staff. And the idea is it's just kind of like a game. I play a note, all the student online has to do is just copy that sound and copy that note and learn along the way. Okay. Um, Bill Adam was quite a different trumpet teacher from everyone else. He was into imagination, imagining the sound and not having any physical thoughts getting in the way. His idea was that when your imagination is strong, the body will fall in line. Okay. And uh, hence it's, it's um, something that's best done by imitation. So what I recommend, I've set this up so that kids out there can learn the routine, but what I really recommend is what Bill Adam used to get his grown-up students to do, which is to get together in pairs, and have a practice buddy. And then you play a note, your friend plays a note, and while he's playing, you're listening and hearing how that's going, and then so on. So you play, follow the leader, and the next day you can swap around, and one person can lead and the other can follow. And as the weeks go by, both of you will hear yourselves improving because it's really hard to judge whether you're getting better or not, okay, unless you maybe record yourself every session and listen back to it after a few weeks, okay, or you have another pair of ears like a practice buddy, okay. So there's nothing special about the exercises in the routine. What's special, and if you're going to get the benefit out of it, is about changing your brain about why we're doing this and what the goal is, okay? The goal is to make a big, beautiful singing kind of sound on the trumpet, okay? Doesn't have to be super loud, it just has to be kind of full and expressive, just like someone uh, singing would be. You want people to hear you play the trumpet and respond in the same way that when they hear a singer, they say, wow, she's got such a nice voice or whatever, you know, and not go, oh, here's a trumpet. <laughs> okay. And you can do that if you use your imagination. Now we start off just catching the sound. And then once we've kind of caught the sound on a long note, we then have to practice moving it around without losing it. And then we've got to practice stopping and starting it with the tongue without losing it and so on. But the idea here is always to imagine the sound, okay, and keep the sound happening. And that's all you can do, you know, keep the sound happening and you don't have brain space to be thinking about what might be going on, okay. And if you just stick to that, you'll be amazed at just how amazing your imagination is at controlling your body and this works particularly with good with kids because kids are very easy to work with they use their imagination every day okay whereas adults as they get older they start to lose that kid-like thing okay so in some ways this is easier to teach to kids you play a note they copy you that's just what they're going to do so if you are a grown-up doing this that's absolutely fine too try and approach it in a bit more kid-like way just kind of remember what it was like when you were seven years old okay and someone would show you something and you just copy it okay all right enjoy and uh i'll see you at the other end
and then <coughs> same sound keep the lips steady and just increase the air till we get pretty well an octave above that And then it's about a tone, minor third above that. The next stop is about <coughs> um, a fifth above that, so about a D.
All right, and after you get to there, you can go double octaves. So low A flat, high A flat.